Okay, well I think it's time we go ahead and dive back into the universe of Prospector. I'm still not very good at this game. I've got a little bit more practice on it. But, you know, at the same time, I, I don't want to become an expert on this game. If you want to be an expert, you know, that that's up to you. Go go apply yourself and become a, a Prospector, a Prospecting God. For me, though, I think I'm going to enjoy stumbling around like a big dumb idiot. And, um, you yeah, know, we're going to dive into the world here. Let's see... Troop transport, pirate cruiser. Pirate cruiser has like wow, 20 haul. Good endurance combined with considerable firepower. However, we would be a pirate. We wouldn't be able to land at stations or anything like that. So no. I already did try that once. A long range fighter. It can't carry a big crew or cargo, but it can carry a strong weapon, engine, and shields. It's going to come down to one of those two, either long-range fighter or troop transport. The thing I love about the troop transport is it can carry 15 crew. But you have to go back to um, stations all the time because it only has five hull. And it seems like every third landing on a planet, my pilot dings up our ship. So let's try a long-range fighter, actually. And we're going to be the, the Solar Wind 2. I've already tried the Solar Wind 1 as an audio test. So let's see, we start up here in the corner. I think, yeah. And we're just going to make our way down to the, towards the station here where we find two stars right off the bat. A yellow sun, Spectral Class G, and it's got a full load of planets in orbit. Let's see, the first planet has an exotic atmosphere. It doesn't show any signs of corrosion. And a high probability for life. We'll land, poke our head around. I do know now that I can uh, actually maintain radio contact with my ship and I can use it to fire. The ground rumbles and you can see a, some mountains pop up out of the ground there. Oh yeah, and this is the tile set from Dion. It, um, there was nothing wrong with the previous tile set, but this one is definitely sexier. Sorry. It is extremely sexy. I can't help myself. And yeah. Uh, so if there's life on this planet, I don't know where it is. And our oxygen tanks are half empty. If we press the R key, it brings up the remote control, and we can type in a command prompt for what we want our, our ship to do. I want it to land. So we pull up our menu, or a little courser, and it says it'll take 12 turns, so just walk around or pass time, and blam, the ship lands there. You do have to maintain visual sight with your ship. There can't be mountain ranges in the middle of it. Um, let's pick up, let's turn on auto pickup and auto inspect. Control P is um, auto pickup and control I is auto inspect. That way you'll expect, inspect the plants on the, uh, on the surface that you walk over. Biomass and stuff like that. It's um, definitely a lazy man's way to play, but I, I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm quite lazy. So let's see, we've got that side mapped out. How much more do we have left to do? Some iron was forced up out of the crust of the planet. Okay, now we can get out of here. Ooh, some copper as well. Um, down to 32, 29 oxygen. Come on. No contact to my ship. Damn, this these mountains got forced up. Right between us. There we go. Land right on top of me. Six turns. We'll pass one turn, two turn, three, four. Oh, and the ship landed on us right in time. So let's get the hell off this planet. Good timing, pilot, crew, whatever. Um, let's see. We'll scan this, I guess, gas cloud. There's nothing in it, nothing remarkable. A debris cloud. And this third planet, the second planet in orbit, let's see. Very dense atmosphere and a 100% probability for life. Let's hope none of it's sentient or hostile. There we've got an arachnid with a long, an elongated head and eight lens eyes, and it's 280 kilograms. It has a prehensile tail with a stinger. We're going to pull up our little command, our remote control menu, and type in the word fire. And as long as it's got a line of sight on it, boom! It unloads its full fury on the beast, shooting, I guess, destroying it, turning it into pulp. And yes, I will continue to use my ship to blast any damn wildlife that steps forward. But God, they're all over the place. 
Um, hang on, we've got one moving towards our ship here. Oh god, I cancelled again. There we go. Light it up. Got one checkmating us. Fire. Your explosion does do a little cross radius, kind of like a Bomberman bomb. So make sure that you don't blow yourself up. And I'll just launch it right there. I think that one shook it off. It only took five points of damage. We're getting flanked. Provide covering fire. Yes. We record bio data on the arachnid. It's got an elongated head. Yes, yes. It flies using three pairs of freaky-ass leather wings. A flying spider. Good God. I, I don't know if, how much longer I want to stay on this planet, actually. Um, come land over here before you, we get out of weapons range. Uh, I'm kind of worried that we're going to be ambushed by a huge group of those spiders and torn limb from limb. We are running with a skeleton crew. I saw a spider to the north there. Okay, I think we might be safe. Ooh, some fancy gems. A small pile just laying in the ground. Dig them out. The loose soil. Um, can you fire all the way over here? In the darkness? Yes! And we're getting flanked again. I wonder how much bio data I can collect on these things. You know what? Come land over here in the darkness. Maybe the beasts have learned their lesson and they'll stay back. Fire at this one as well. Destroy their forests. Damn tree-hugging spiders. This has got to be breaking some type of space exploration protocols or something. Like, don't destroy the planets that you land on. Try not to interfere too much with the wildlife. And the indigenous populations or something. Goodness, how many spiders are there? They're just everywhere. I want to finish exploring this place, but man. Um, we might have to leave, actually. I'm going to run out of ammo for my gun at some point. I don't know how much of it we can hold on to. Or our ship has, I mean. Oh, okay. Pass a few turns here. Be gone, spider fiends. You know what? Let's launch. This planet is just too hostile, too much life. I'm not going to allow us to get ambushed and destroyed. This planet has no atmosphere, 9% chance for life. We land in a small gully here. Hopefully no one saw our approach and landing. A small amount of gold laying on the surface. You know what? I'm not going to spend too much time exploring these planets either that have no atmosphere. Unless it looks... Like they've got some potential. What was that? What is this? An arachnid. It flies using we feathered wings. Man, this is like an arachnid solar system. And a meteor crashes into the surface right there behind our ship. Yeah, let's leave that planet behind. We'll just land on this one. Just to say we were here. Just to leave our footprints. And to grab not that. Because it's embedded in the mountain range. Okay, I think we can leave this place, maybe. If I can find my way back, there's no path to my ship. Damn it. Here we are. Do we really want to refuel on the gas giant? No. Not that one, anyways. This planet has no atmosphere. There's no liquid on the surface. It's all frozen. It's negative 269 degrees Celsius and it has a rotation of every 19 hours. Yeah, we'll land on it. Just to scout around. Snow and ice blanket the planet's surface. So little sunlight reaches this place. What is this? An abandoned mining building. It's got a med pack 3 and a small amount of sulfur. And a small landing pad. That's kind of neat. I'd use this place as a base of operations as I, if I could. If I had any reason to, I guess. Okay, we're out of here. We, we've marked the abandoned runes. We'll turn in the data. And this is a very dense atmosphere. Wow, it's 22.5 degrees Celsius. Might, maybe there's some terraforming that's been done here. Holy crap. What is it? It's a long centipede. It has two mouths. One for eating. And one for something it can't even say. I don't want to know. And we're going to kill it anyways. Quite frankly, because it's scary as hell. 
Oh no, they're trying to board our ship too. Blow them all up. Okay, it has two mounts. One for eating and... Well, this being's biochemistry is no doubt remarkable. It does not explain its extraordinarily long lifespan. I wonder how long they live for. Maybe we can steal something from their genome. And use it for our research. Just stay friendly, you damn centipedes. No one, no one else will get hurt. Wow. All the liquid on the surface of the planet freezes. I guess we uh, went to nighttime. We picked up a small amount of sulfur and some transuranic materials. I'm sure the office will be pleased to see that. Blast that group. Holy crap, we blasted them and they just spawned into a bigger group. Got him. What about these two here? We're gonna have so much, so much bio data. It's like going on a bison killing spree on the Oregon Trail and getting 500 tons of meat that you don't need. There we go. Another dead one. Do we want to enter this natural tunnel down here? Yikes. You know what? Yes, we do. Let's enter the tunnel and start exploring it. What do we got? A cave bear or something? A mammal with an elongated head, two compound eyes, and a small mouth. Its whole body is covered with what? Oh shit. There's also avians down here. The wall is too hard to shoot through. Um, flying avian, it only took one damage. We're gonna leave this tunnel. I don't have the gear for this yet. We need to go turn in some of this data that we've collected. Some of these resources. And once we've got gear, then we can explore tunnels and stuff like that. Okay, map out this corner over here. Big old chunk of rhodium. Prospectors will be pleased to see that's abundant on this planet. Okay. You know what? Go land towards the south here. On the south side of this mountain range. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our ship takes off and we get ambushed by a bunch of centipedes. Everyone's dead except uh, the doctor me. Fire there and kill them all. We're leaving this hellhole. We don't have any more bodies to give away and explore with. Let's limp back to the station here. It, it is Space Station 3. We dock on it. The station commander does a routine inspection. He doesn't find anything, though. We pay our crew, the doctor, 10 credits. And he goes to the bar to get a drink. Um, let's repair our ship can add up to seven well I guess actually um, turn in our data we transfer new data and get paid 211 credits for uh, the map data 235 for the alien bio data and 780 for the resources we are never gonna retire at this rate for the crew let's see I think I need a pilot minus five it says for this version if it says minus five it means you need more so yes we'll hire that guy at least I think it does maybe it doesn't We'll hire a gunner. A science officer will hire. The ship's doctor, I've already got one. He's the lucky one who didn't die. For security, I don't have any more room for them. Damn. That's kind of sad. So I have enough room on my ship for a captain, a pilot, a gunner, a science officer, and a doctor. That'll have to do then. Um, let's spend some of this hard-earned money on equipping our, our small team here. Or not, because everything is out of my price range. A simple rover, that would be fun. Drop it on a planet. A conventional mine. A simple small explosive device triggered by proximity. Big auxiliary jetpack tanks. I think we'll just hang on to our money then. Uh, let's piss away just a little bit of money in the casino here. Play roulette. Um, bet on... You know what? Let's bet on on the red numbers. We're gonna bet a total of 300 credits. Come on, red. Damn it, we lost. We're out of here. One one bet and then we're gone. We're gonna have a drink. We have more drinks. We sit there and we drink for a while and the light transport captain claims in a discussion on trade routes that the average price of food is 58.75. And we're not traders though, buddy. We're explorers. And gonna repair all of our haul points spend the rest of our money on that and then we need to fuel and repair too there we go now we can leave and which direction should we have we've got these stars here 
I don't really want to go anywhere unknown just yet because we could bump into stuff like this. These little stars here, these are um, anomalies. Anomalies, and if you fly into them, bad things can potentially happen. Or wondrous things. Holy crap, we scan this planet and it looks like an old... It's remains of an exotic atmosphere and remains of an ancient civilization too, perhaps. Shall we land on the landing pad? Yes. A massive landing pad. And there's a robot here. I have a feeling it's not going to be friendly. Nope, it's not. The defense robot attacks us. We fire our laser bank. We take him out and we get flanked by another one. Take it out. Blow up both of them and another one. So the robot defense systems on this planet are still completely active. And thankfully our ship can blow them all to hell. Holy crap, maybe not. We need to... Oh god, it's just me, the captain. This is the captain sending a distress beacon. I am fucked. If you see this planet, do not come. There's no no life here, nothing for you. <laughs> and we're dead. The away team has been destroyed. Your away team was obliterated. Your bones are being picked clean by alien scavengers under a clean, under a strange sun. The robots will no doubt run tests on our on our biochemistry for eternity. Don't need to see the last messages. And we discovered six systems, one remarkable planet, probably the one we landed on. We sent 378 aliens to hell, and we had eight casualties. Kind of a little glitch here, mission type explorer. Um, that little box, I think, should probably be moved somewhere. I might have broke it, though. See a list of the remarkable planets? Yes. A unique planet discovered, a planet with immortal beings and an ancient city with an intact spaceport. That's where we died, and I'm guessing those centipedes were the, was the planet that had the immortal beings on them. Save mission summary? No. And, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, try again, create a new character here. Okay, let's go ahead and um, start a new game here then. And maybe one of these times we'll actually be able to retire at some point instead of just marching on to our inevitable doom. Um, we're going to be a long-range fighter once more. I like the extra hull protection that we have. And let's be the Solar Wind. I, can only be the, I can't be the Solar Wind 3, huh? Well, how about VSS, VSS Plump? There we go. And let's see. We start up here on the edge of the map. I'm not going to dock with that station either. I want to start working our way towards this one. And uh, we're going to do business there. Is it just a straight shot? That's pretty amazing. Um, tiny ships, let's see. Tiny ships, their configuration is alien, but they seem to be explorers. They were sending us signals. So we traveled to the station here. And I'm actually surprised at the amount of openness that we've had so far. There hasn't been any uh, space anomalies or... Hell, no stars, no anything. We do find the blue giant here, Spectral Class O. And... Um, Let's see, it's got two planets, a small one and a gas giant. Gas giant is really far away from the sun. Let's see. This one has a thin atmosphere, thin exotic atmosphere, 15% probability of life according to our sensors. Which are normally wrong. Auto inspect on, auto pick up on, good. And who are you? It's a predator, it's unhurt, a humanoid with a cone-shaped head. Its whole body is covered in a chitin shell. Is it going to attack us? No. Maybe I can uh, communicate with it. The humanoid suddenly grows aggressive and starts charging at us. I've got an answer for you. Our laser bank opens fire from our spaceship. Whoa, we get attacked by a, a gastropod. A herbivore. It's not really charging after us. more like slithering after us. Blast it to bits too. This is not a very friendly planet. Oh, if only I had mining utensils. If we ever do get a bit of money, that's going to be one of the first things I actually invest in. The vicious gastropod grows aggressive, begins stalking us across the countryside. Okay. I think we're going to leave that planet. There's only death waiting for us there. And scanning this gas giant. Uh, no. Nothing interesting, and I don't feel like trying to refuel. 
Bam, we take a dead shot directly toward the to the spectral class A star. And let's see. The first planet closest to the sun here has a corrosive atmosphere, so we're just gonna just gonna bypass it. I don't want our weapons and stuff corroding. Not yet anyways. Those planets can sometimes hold great secrets, but uh, whenever you're poor, it's probably best not to piss away all your gear. And let's see, an amphibian with a cone-shaped head it flies using two pairs of skin flaps. It's only weighs 84 kilograms. And what are you? Another gastropod. Um, is it friendly? No, it attacks us. Our pilot's been injured, our ship doctor's been injured. We open fire. You know what? Kill anything that moves. All wildlife is to be considered hostile. Let's collect their bodies, bring them back to the ship. Okay, we can't spend all day blasting these things. We're gonna get surrounded again. Here's a snake. Has no arms, no legs. Its whole body is covered in armor, though. Light them up. Takes a ton of damage. And this creature over here looks like it has a bow, maybe. Let's see, it has bows and arrows, a dead humanoid. Ooh, it's a body. And there is another humanoid. You know what? Fire at that bastard. Vicious gastropod takes 10 points of damage. We need suppressive fire, they're not dying. Um, do I really want to attack the amphibian? You know what? I do. Blow him up, too. Um, no, fire right here. Can I not kill them? They might... Well, maybe they're already dead. Or it's just... Maybe glitch. There we go. They get blown to hell. Our oxygen tanks are half empty. And we pick up bows and arrows. We did stumble across their village. And there's another gastropod over there. Ooh, now the amphibian gives chase. And as soon as he wakes up, he was uh, able to be killed. You better run away, you little bow slingers. Can't stand the might to our technology. Cultivated land. They're just part-time farmers. A house made of clay bricks. They're just an agrarian society. Civilization. Goodness, they're all over the place. And what is this? An arachnid with a long head. A long or a round head. It flies using feathered wings. And it dies squealing, just like everything else that, ble that bleeds. There we go. <sighs> okay, let's get out of here. This is another hostile planet. We've already lost two crew members, Beth Crawford and Martha Judge. Fuel is low. Let's turn towards the station, dock, and uh, resituate ourselves here. The station has a buzz with talk about mid-range sensor contact with a ship of unknown configuration. We pay our crew 20 credits, because we only have two crew members left alive that get a cut of the pay. And um, let's turn our data into Omega. Omega bioengineering scientists want to conduct an experiment. They need a planet with a very dense atmosphere and without plant life for that. They are willing to pay 2,500 credits for, a pos for the position of a possible candidate. Do you want to help them in their search? Absolutely. If we find one, we'll let them know. We transfer, we get 30 credits for our mapping data, 164 credits for all the organic biomass and stuff that we brought back, and only 15 credits, damn. Can we even repair and refuel? Um, let's see. Tanks and ammo bins are full, repair. Spend all of our money to repair and refuel, and we have 50 credits left. Um, let's see. Can I hire anybody? I don't have a gunner. We need one of those. A science officer? I've already got one. Ship's doctor? Yeah. Do I have a pilot? No. Not enough money to hire the pilot. So, we're yeah, we're going to be kind of going understaffed here. Oh, it's the captain, the gunner, the science officer, the science whatever, and the doctor. Okay. We don't even have a full away team. We'll... Land, check this first planet. It's got an exotic atmosphere. Pretty slow rotation, 33.6 hours. Um, yeah, it helps maintain 
an imbalance in the temperatures on the side of the planets, I'm, I'm guessing. I can detect several small ships on the planet, our science officer says, and he picks them up on our scanning here. You can see them. Um, we're gonna land and just kind of look around. What was that? A pirate band. Caption in... Okay, it's not a friendly security team. We're taking off. They already killed one person. God damn it. All of these planets are too hostile. No atmosphere, zero percent probability of life. Well, that sounds like a nice planet to land on. No probability of being ambushed and killed by a flying fang creature with feathers. What is that? We, let's see, we pick up anesthetics, a small amount of iron, and a laser drill. It's a long lost away team. Um, let's see. How do I use the drill? Can I fire that way? We bore some tunnels. Okay, so F and then the, the direction you want to bore. And you can... Maybe... Okay, yeah, you can remove the mountain slowly. It, it doesn't remove it completely, but you can bore tunnels to get to uh, resources and stuff like that. If you become trapped, say a meteor... Crashes into the surface and cuts you off from your ship. We're gonna leave that planet behind, though. We got something from it. No atmosphere and 36% chance of life. And there it is. As soon as we land, we're greeted by a cephalopod with an elongated head. It's a herbivore. It's unhurt. And, um... Yeah, it's dead, as far as I'm concerned. Blast right there. Aw, oh, damn it, it got away. I always accidentally click cancel instead of going to laser bank. It's kind of, kind of bumming me out. No line of sight on. You had to park in the small valley, huh? I don't think we're going to spend much time on this planet either. Greetings, friend. Can we talk to it? Your science officer can't make any sense of the vicious cephalopod sounds and act vicious, huh? Yeah, we're out of here. There's some type of resources down there. What is that? I don't know. I'm not sticking around on this planet to find out. We want to refuel on this gas giant? No. Oh no, and we were scanning the asteroid field, and a ship's been hiding among it. Hiding among them. The rockses and stuffses. And it attacks us! Well, time for space combat then. We'll press A to turn on our active our, our sensors. And try not to run into our little dots there. I'm sure we'll probably be blown up here. Or we got away. That's fine by me too. So let's see, another planet here. Thin atmosphere, 6% probability for life. And there are trees and stuff. Oh, keep your wits about you, squad. Can't afford to lose too many more people. And there was something. Grass. There was a, an ant-like creature. There it is. Shit, the vicious insect attacks us. It's always something on these damn planets. Why is life got to always be so unfriendly? We record the bio data on an insect. It's a predator, and it was stalking us across the landscape for several hours until we could get within range of uh, our ship there. We pick up some transuranic materials. Yeah, let's just auto scout this. Or turbo scout it. Ooh, a dead away team body. We pick up a small amount of silver, a med pack too, a small amount of iron. And of course, there's no, uh, no way to really figure out how they died. Bite marks and claw marks. Regular wildlife injuries. I do like how we can breathe on this planet. Claim this planet for myself. And defend it from anyone who would try to come uh, and take it from us. Screw buying a planet. We'll defend it with force. What is this? Hang on. A stranded ship beyond repair. Do we want to enter it? Yes. Okay, keep your guns drawn. Cargo crates, cargo crates. Apparently there's nothing in them. Our science officer's trying to unlock the locker there, but nothing in it either. Man, all the cargo crates have already been pillaged, I think. Where's this? To the engines? A grade one shell generator is just setting here. We'll take that. And as soon as we unstrap it, a red light starts flashing. This is a grade two engine. Yeah, we'll take that. I don't know if it's better than what we've got. We'll find out, though. Some more cargo... Uh, cargo canisters. Ah, oh, damn it. 
We need to report back to our ship real quick. Um, where is our ship? Come land over here right next to it. We found uh, something we can scavenge. Oh, well, that's weird. We've got atmosphere outside, but inside the ship, maybe because life support is off. Yeah, actually, well, I don't know. I don't know, then. The doors are open. It should be venting inside. Uh, apparently nothing in any of these cargo crates. That's disparaging. Nothing in the locker there. All the airlocks are open. Another science officer. I like this ship. Got plenty of potential if we were able to fix it up. An empty weapons turret, empty weapons turret. Nothing there either. What do we got here? Grade 2 sensor suite. Do we wish to transfer it back home? Yes. Nothing in that quarters, nothing in that quarters. Okay, the ship's scouted. Nice design, nice make. I don't see any battle damage. I'm not really sure why it's deserted here. Maybe somebody landed here and decided they liked this planet enough to just retire. It never took off. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! I auto-traveled with W and ran face first into some vicious insects. Maybe uh, they landed on the planet and were killed by those motherfuckers. Your away team was obliterated. Your bones are being picked clean by the alien scavengers under a strange sun. Well, I, I guess that's how it is, isn't it? We discovered nine systems, mapped seven planets... Didn't even find a single remarkable planet. Uh, got third place, though, in my short list of uh, unsuccessful captains. So yeah, I guess um, time to do a new game? Not gonna give up yet, are we?